your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. The Cayman Islands Health Services Authority's chemotherapy unit has upgraded its cold cap therapy with a scalp cooling system that will improve efficiency of the treatment and provide a more comfortable experience for patients hoping to prevent or reduce the loss of their hair as a result of chemotherapy. Now, donated by the Breast Cancer Foundation, the scalp cooling system uses scalp hypothermia, a process that can prevent hair loss caused by certain chemotherapy drugs. By cooling a person's scalp for a period of time before, during, and after each chemotherapy treatment, the Health Services, Health Services Authority rather, is thanking the Breast Cancer Foundation for their many years of contribution to cancer survivors throughout uh, the islands and recognizes the significant impact that their support has in assisting uh, the organization to continue to provide high quality care to patients and their families. These words coming from medical director, Dr. Delroy Jefferson. Also making our headlines today, motorists traveling on the Esterly Tibbetts Highway are being made aware of work that's starting on July 1st by the National Roads Authority. Plans are to make road improvements on the Island Heritage Roundabout. The NRA roadworks will last approximately two months, and while the work is ongoing, traffic on the roundabout may be temporarily reduced down to one lane. Drivers are being asked to proceed with caution once the work begins by following all the relevant signs and road markings. Of course, the NRA apologizes uh, for any inconvenience caused to motorists traveling on that road. Well, the first group of 33 participants in the Women Code Cayman program has completed the 12-week introductory course. The free program, developed to help close the technology sector's gender gap, offers women a supportive uh, network and platform to learn how to code. Founded and supported by Captain uh, Car Cartan, rather, Cartan Group, Cayman Enterprise, Enterprise City, the Ministry of Community Affairs, and Walkers, the Women Code uh, Initiative has formalized curriculum, uh, attracted industry professionals to instruct courses, and now has its first cohort of alumni who have developed foundational skills required to build websites, software programs, and digital applications. Now, the Honorable Joseph Hugh, the Minister of Commerce, Planning, and, and, and Infrastructure, was in attendance with Senior Policy Analyst Carleen Bramwell and Manager Lloyd Kellerman for the Gender Affairs Unit in the Ministry of Community Affairs. Registration is now open for the next Women Code uh, Cayman series, which begins in the fall of this year. Classes take place on Wednesday evenings from 7 to 8.30 at the CEC, CEC's Strathvale House location. You can register by emailing info, that's info, I-N-F-O, at codecayman.com. Well, finally, remember, you can take a look at our weekly schedule of programs here on CIG Television by going online to gis.gov.ky. If you missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm Donna Bush, thanking you for joining us and inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, be safe and have a wonderful night. The Royal Cayman Islands Police Service has launched a new service to apply for a police clearance certificate online. To make this process quick and easy, ensure you have digital copies of all required documents readily available. At a minimum, you'll need a copy of your passport photo page. Our website lists the full requirements. If you are using an Apple iOS or Android mobile device, you can use the camera to take photos of these documents while completing your application. After you have read the instructions and are ready to start, Type in the alphanumeric string from the CAPTCHA image and click the green button that says Start Application. If you can't read the letters and numbers properly, click Can't Read Image below the photo to try again. To complete your application, you will follow five simple steps. These are shown at the top of each page, and the blue circle will always show where you are right now. Enter the requested data in each field. All fields marked with an asterisk are required. Each field has some help information and please pay attention to the correct format for dates and telephone numbers in particular. When selecting your birthday, you can also use the calendar feature. If a field has a drop-down list, you can scroll through alphabetically or start typing to find the correct option.
you will be asked to enter your email address twice to ensure it's correct. This is the address we will use to send you a confirmation email and receipt. Once you have entered all of the required information, click Next at the bottom of the screen. If you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. On this page, answer the questions about past offenses, provide details if relevant, and then click Next. In this step, you will select the type of service being requested and details of the person applying, as well as anyone who might pick up the certificate on his or her behalf. If you select certain options, more information may be required at this stage or later in the process when you are uploading your documents. Finally, select the reasons you are applying and then click Next. If you make a mistake, use the drop-down menu to change the reason or click the red X to delete a line. Remember, if you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. If you need to go back to a previous page to review or change data you already entered, you can use the Back button. You can also navigate through the process using the links at the top of the page. On this page, you will be asked for the relevant digital documents to support your application. On each line, click the Upload icon, select the correct file, and then click Upload. Repeat this process for each document. Based on the information you've already entered, this page will tell you the basic documents required. However, please remember to read the guidance notes to ensure you've included everything for your particular application. You can click the Upload More Documents button if you need to add more files, using the Comments field to briefly explain the additional documents you are submitting. If you go back to previous sections after uploading documents and make changes that affect these requirements, you may need to re-upload your documents. This is the final page before submission. Please review all information provided to ensure it is accurate and complete. You won't be able to change anything on this page, but you can use the back button or the links at the top of the page to return to earlier pages and update any field. By submitting this application, you are declaring that the information provided is accurate and truthful. If you are satisfied with your application, click Proceed to Online Payment. You may need to allow pop-ups and then click the button again to show the payment screen where you will enter your debit or credit card information. The Cayman Islands government accepts Visa and MasterCard and you can use a debit or credit card issued anywhere in the world. Payment will be processed in Cayman Islands dollars for local service and in United States dollars for overseas service. If you have questions about any exchange rate that will be used or foreign currency transaction fees, please contact the bank that issued your card. The Cayman Islands government will not receive or retain your card information. Once your online payment has been authorized, you can view and print your receipt. Click Continue to return to our webpage for details on pickup date and time. If there is an issue with your application and we have to contact you for more information, your application may be delayed. You will also receive a confirmation email with this information and your official receipt. Please remember to bring your passport for identification when you collect your certificate from the Criminal Records Office.